games. Now we gotta play them all. So what about the sand train? Choo choo. Moment of silence. Okay. All right. <sighs> More murder then. More murder. You doing all right? No. You want to talk about it? No. Was that a thing? No. Um. Welcome back to Undertale. Yeah, Undertale's, Undertale's pretty cool. Yeah. What did the flower say? Strangely silent. Ugh. <laughs> and we're back. The rampage continues. Is there a door back there? Looks like there's a door back there. Okay. Um. Let's go hunting. It's a, it's a box. Oh, it's a box hater. Um. Yeah. Do 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 do. Do 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 Find the rushing water. There's a camera. It's Alpheus. Just stare at the camera. Let her know we're coming. Oh, no one's throwing rocks. Oh, the tutu. Great. I'll take it. Old tutu. Can't wait to put it on. Defense 10. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess we'll just keep playing this video game. Yeah, so I didn't have to steal that from the store at all. Great, now I'm a piece of shit for no reason. <sighs> okay, okay, all right. Hey, Undyne, how you doing? Okay. I remember this back before I knew you were a cool fish lady. You were just a walking suit armor. Oh. Oh, that's just- Oh! What's up, Undyne? How you doing, girl? You wanna learn how to cook? Is that it? We can- We can cook. Damn, that music's cool. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's- yeah, I'm a little kid. Yo, did you see the way All she was right. staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. She was just standing there waiting forever, and then you just... Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Okay. Something bad's gonna happen to that kid, isn't it? Yep. Remember when he... Remember the thing that happened? Vaguely. Remember uh, the... he, uh... Oh, was that? It's uh, it's already done for you. Puzzle's already, already done. done. Looks like the puzzles. Time to go. Aaron flexes in. Sorry, Aaron. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We're actually filming this on Aaron's birthday. Yeah, because we don't like him. We don't want to. Because we want to have birthday. a miserable time on Aaron's birthday. Sorry, it's not a miserable time. It's a bad time. Didn't you read the text? Oh, that was really creepy. The way Sans kind of. Yep, that was vacant stared. Yep, that's uh. Remember the the good. It's creepy pasta shit. Oh, that resets those things. So this is the room that, what I read said we're supposed to grind in. Oh, really? Yeah. Welcome back to Grind Train. Yep. Um, choo choo, all aboard. Choo choo. Let's talk about happy, pleasant things, cause uh. Um. Whew. Oh, I guess here's some happy, pleasant. Let's talk Please. about something pleasant. Yeah. There we go. Bring oh. it back. Bring it back. Okay. All right. <sighs> all right. So, um, I guess for. Um, what's something cool? Okay, so, uh, Christmas. Christmas yeah, that 2015, happened a while ago. Uh, while we were on break. Remember that? Um, Remember Christmas? My, uh, my, my cousin's kids were, um, going through some shit. Won't say what exactly. Um, but, I went out of my way, and I got them really fucking cool Christmas presents. Nice. They didn't have a video game console. I bought them both a Wii U with three games. Mario mm -hmm. Maker. I'm not gonna make me play my levels. Skylanders, <laughs> uh, Superchargers, and Swap Force, or is mm -hmm. it Swap Team? I've I don't tra know. Trap tra yeah. Swap Force. That's yeah. It. Yeah. Okay. So mm. yeah, I felt yeah. good about that. And my mom and uh, my dad filmed a video of them 
opening it, and it was the sweetest yeah. thing ever. And I'm probably gonna have to watch it 17 times after this to give me huma my humanity back. Get those good vibes. Yep. I'm probably just gonna Google pictures of puppies. Just look at all them. Go on pictures of puppies. Just happy thoughts. Where are the enemies? Where's everything? I wanna everything? call up. I wanna call up Mark. Yeah. And say, I'm sorry. You had to play my Mario Maker levels, but I need at least three hours with Chica. And I need mm -hmm. to lie on the ground and let her Where? encapsulate me with her dogginess. I can't. I'm gonna check up here. Maybe I missed. The but armor. you don't want to. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to fight and dine. But wishing room. I'm always away from that. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, you can. Do, you can do it here then. Washua. Ugh. I mean, I guess there's some rooms that are better than others. Wash you leg. I don't want to wash my leg. Oops. Ow. Ow. I don't feel anything anymore. Hmm. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh great, these are all silent? Okay. How many do we have left? A lot. Check wall. Well that's the exit to get to Undyne. Yeah, I don't want to get to Undyne. We'll just walk around here. It's already open. What are you doing? That's where yeah, Undyne starts. Don't, yeah, do, don't it. do that. <sighs> okay. Seems to be having better luck in here. Mold small. I don't know if <laughs> the number. No, that was my soul leaving my body. Sorry. That's fine. There wasn't a lot of it left then, huh? Nope. Um. I don't know if it's like, oh, you know, 14 left. If that means 14 fights or I think it's I think monsters. it's monsters. Mm. I hope it is. We could we could. Do them. I'm sure we're gonna have plenty of time to do the math and yeah. te uh, test that out. I'm gonna see what the tally is right now. <laughs> Gotta go back to that. And we have save. a double a double homicide, then we can go back and check to see if it counts as two or one. Exactly. Oh my god. <sighs> Fourteen. So Fourteen. Kill left. two more, then we're probably on. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, grinding has never been a more appropriate term. Than this. No, yep, that's uh, that's the truth. That's the meal ticket right there. Yep. Oh. Oh. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, your soul is unclean. How did you know? Oh, the guy Aaron. Aaron's flexing mad. Hacha. I feel nothing anymore. Ah! Ah! How am I supposed to beat the game? You know what? This feels horrible. Do you know what'd be interesting? If you went to a prison. Yeah. Full of the the most heinous, horrible murderers. Yes. People. Yeah, and then with literally. No, no empathy. No empathy, and literally made them play this. Literally for two weeks. As an experiment, said. You will get stuff, but you can only play Undertale for three months. Mm -hmm. Beat it at least three times, Ooh. and then record the results with the inmates and see how many uh, how many ruthless murderers actually did the genocide run, and how many of them felt empathy in this game. Wow, that would be interesting, because it it you know this game this game makes you feel it. It, but if you, I feel like this game teaches you empathy yeah. if you don't have it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, 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 it's because it's interactive, right? It's a choice that you're making. You're not watching, you know, this ain't no Breaking Bad or It's like a book where something. you get to pick, like, like a book where you could read it twice, but the second time through, you do things differently. Well, yeah, that's the nature of interactive narrative. But my, my point is, like, mm. you're not watching a character Descend down a negative slope because that's a thing in a lot of fiction. I'm really far from the mic That's why I'm oh talking well, loudly. Do you would you want to bring the mic? Closer? No, I'm just gonna keep yelling. No, I'm gonna the bring mic. the mic closer. Okay, thank you. Point it at you. There you go. I'm just I've 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 turned into a thank you I've turned into a puddle of sadness, so I can no longer mm. lean forward No, but talking about the like you're talking about the, the narrative and how the character descends or changes over time Yeah, and you can you can watch a character and kind of empathize with their well, it's their mindset it's as, like as the, much as possible, but to, to deliberately choose to murder things that don't need to be murdered is a very interesting mental exercise. Yeah, I mean, 
I've been learning a lot about writing while making Gamerverse. Um, Aaron, Aaron's been doing a lot more reading on it than I have, but he's been teaching me some pretty interesting things. I haven't read all the books he's read so far. He's, he's, I think he just finished Sidfield, and he's been talking a lot about Dan Harmon stuff, and mm. it's quite interesting looking into it just about how like plot wheels. Do, and yeah, stuff. do you know about the, do you know about the Harmon, Harmon, the Harmon, Cir the Harmon Circle? Yeah, yeah, Harmon Circle. I don't remember the all the steps, but uh, I'll get Kevin. It's, it's similar to the hero's journey. I'll get Ke Kevin to put it up. Uh, okay. But let me let me just I believe it's if, it's it's like a different version of the hero's circle Yeah, or the hero's journey rather which is an old story archetype Where the basic gist of it is a character has like a normal existence where everything's happy. There's some instigating factor where well, You like, know I can explain it perfectly. I got yeah, it right you can here. read the ex exact okay, text. So there's there's names for each section, but yeah, they can so be very different. This is this is like basically uh, okay. So Kevin, it's just, just a just template for telling a story. Google image, uh, just look up Google images and look up the uh, the Harmon Circle. Har okay, so Dan Harmon, he wrote Community. He's one of the uh, ha one well, half of Rick and Morty. He was the showrunner and creator. On yeah. Most of community. Yeah, most of community. Yeah. He works on um, Morty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the circle would start with like you or a zone of comfort for the character, and then they would need something or want something. And then something would happen that puts them out of puts them into an unfamiliar situation, mm -hmm. and then they would start to search and adapt to this situation. So mm -hmm. this is four. So it's going in a circle. There's there's like eight eight uh, eight slices, I think, mm -hmm. um, and they adapt to it. Eventually, they find what they need in in this situation. But in taking it, take uh take a take a price for it, yeah, and then return to their familiar situation having changed. Yes. So, and I was talking about this to Aaron. I was like, "Wow, that's amazing!" I hadn't, I, I wasn't, I hadn't really done a lot. I hadn't really heard much about Dan Harmon's process, but hmm. I would start picking movies and applying this circle. And Kevin, just move it to the corner so people can still see it. Hey, they don't um, need to see the murder. Yeah. They didn't so know what's happening? So let's say one. Let's do Wreck It Ralph, right? Okay. So Wreck It Ralph. Uh, so you have a character who's comfortable, relatively comfortable, being a bad guy, right? He, he his need or want is to have a hero's medallion. He wants to be a hero, right? Right. I, it's been a while since I've seen Record Ralph. His Rekker unfamiliar situation is he goes into Hero's Duty or whatever because the, all, the, all the other games. And yes. Stuff. And in searching for it, he finds the uh, whatever he searches. He finds the um, hero's medallion, but in taking it, infects uh, Candy Crush, right? With those bugs. It's not called Candy Crush, but candy, yeah. Isn't it called Candy? Oh, no, Candy Crush. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, if you if it's the racing the racing sugar rush, sugar rush, there not candy go. crush. I'm well, sorry. You did it. Whoa, um, and then infects it with those bugs. Yep. Uh, having his 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 what he wanted, which I guess was his uh his external solution to an internal problem. He takes the the he takes the medal, goes back, but because he's been gone, the price he has to pay is the game is being shut down. Right. And then he goes back. Ch changed and he's like he's comfortable with being a villain and saves the day and boom you back to it So it's like it's crazy. That, mm. I, I mean apply it's, I applied this circle to a lot of stories I'm like this just fits with fucking everything. Well, that's why it's I feel like the Harmon circle Emphasizes the character wanting something yes, right and the hero's journey the, Can be a lot about things happening to the character and forcing them Yeah, usually I mean in the older version of stories it would be like oh, you know mm -hmm. like the the big army sw mm -hmm. Swept in and like killed everyone in his village and he escaped or whatever yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like the Lion King right right you have like Simba doesn't want to leave the comfort of Pride Rock mm -hmm. But Mufasa is killed. I mean, it's not a, it's not a, it's not all stories, but a lot of stories will hold yeah, to course. like that There's structure. no there's no storytelling 101 although there probably is I think there is actually a book called uh <laughs> Script writing well, it's screen, yeah, screen halt, or right. whatever. Yeah, um, but it's a good framework to sort of build a story off of because you have a place of comfort. They're forced out of that area of comfort. They learn and grow and have experiences, and they return to that place, original place of comfort, right? Either in a literal sense or a figurative sense, and they're a changed, grown person yeah. in some sense. And and the interesting thing about that, you can take that circle and have. Multiple circles going at once practically like a character arc for a certain character mm -hmm. or like each episode could have basically that That circle, but the entire season as a whole could be broken down into that circle, right? Which is really interesting. You can you tell a story in chunks And I think one I honestly I mean I'm not I don't consider myself a writer Aaron's very I, I personally believe that Aaron's a really good writer and mm -hmm. I I Mean that like some of the stuff I've seen him doing I'm like wow this is really good and he, oh, yeah. he wrote I did the overview for the pilot of game of and I basically universe creating, character creating, all that, and had an overview for what the episode was. And then he wrote the the dialogue and the the screenplay. And holy shit, I was like, wow, this is really fucking good. Um, 
so yeah, I mean, he's he's been getting really good at it, and uh, it shows uh, when we talk about writing. So it's cool. It's nice. cool. Um, I just want to say one of my yeah. other favorite examples of the hero's journey mm. is actually the game Journey by, yeah, by yeah, that game yeah. company because it yeah. actually tells a hero's journey uh, without any dialogue or anything like that. Because also part of the hero's journey, oh, I remember this guy, oh shit. Let's scrub him out of existence. Yeah, here you go, scrubbed. Don't want no scrubs! Uh, I feel nothing, I feel nothing. Um, one of the parts of the hero's journey is the... There's a part that's either a, a temptation mm -hmm. of the hero, mm -hmm. so like uh, like Homer's Odyssey right. would be uh, the 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 what are they like the mermaid people or whatever mm -hmm. the I'm blanking on the name of them, but they're like oh we're gonna come over here and have a good time, and then they kill everyone. Yep. Um, so it's either some sort of temptation or a struggle. Like there's a lowest point where it feels like oh like how the hell oh, are they gonna get out of that's this? That's one actually, and in the circle, sometimes it, it's I've seen it like broken in, in from top to bottom half. Yes, and then it's it's grayer in the bottom to say like this is where like the chaos. The, yeah, the and, bottom and the half top is order, and the bottom is chaos. So like everything goes wrong because mm -hmm. without conflict, it's hard to write a show. Yeah, which is interesting. There's a documentary on Netflix called uh, is, I think it might be. I'm, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's like Chaos on the Bridge or something. I don't know. Uh, it's 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 the story of Gene Roddenberry oh, creating Star yeah, Trek. Yeah, yeah. And one of the interesting things is that when TNG came around, he said like. Oh no! This is a perfect world where there is no war, nothing, and like all the writers are like, "How the fuck do we write this? Like, there's no conflict, there's no show." Right. So for the the first season of Star of Star Trek TNG is a little fucking weird. Really. I guess he was second guessing everything. There's a lot of heated discussions and stuff. So wow. it's worth watching because it talks about how like he, what he envisioned. That's and, neat. And um, it's still it's a great show. Um, I mean, I I personally think it's it's high point is best of uh best of. Both worlds is that the name of the two partner? I'm trying to remember. Mm -hmm. um, it's where uh, Locutus is created uh, when Picard becomes a Borg. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's that's I'm vaguely like, familiar with that. I think that's when the show goes to it. It's at its is at its height. But anyway, I anyway, just wanted sorry. to finish my thought that um, one of the things I love about Journey is that the low point is a literal low point, where you're underneath sort of like ruins and you're getting yeah. attacked and stuff. So it sort of marks a significant downturn where. Mm -hmm. Things are worse, and then there is an actual return to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Kind of like you know, like Lord of the Rings falls the exact same. Exactly, template. yeah. Like there's there a lot, a lot, of, a lot of stories that do that. Um, <sighs> yeah, just murdering, just murdering, murdering, trying um, to soften it by talking about good stuff. <laughs> talking about storytelling, which is what's happening as we do this. Yeah, I'm trying to think how. I guess let me think. Let, let's let's look at the circle in 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 terms of Undertale. I'm trying to think if there's another game that's made me feel bad for the enemies that I'm fighting. And like, Earthbound and Mother 3 tick some of those boxes, but not in the way that this does. Because in those games it's more like, oh, this is like a really interesting enemy. I guess it like, there's there's one dude in Mother 3, I, it's been years since I played Mother 3, um, but there's one enemy that's just like a, like a rectangular block dude, and he's just like crying on the ground. Right. And he, does, he never attacks you, and you're just like, uh, I don't feel good fighting this guy. I guess maybe Shadow of the Colossus has some elements of... Oh, yeah, that was... A different, it's ugh. less overt than this. This is very clearly... This is bad. The whole game is, like, you don't, you don't screaming really, at us to stop. You're not really faced with a choice in Shadow of Colossus to not... Well, do. your choice is to stop playing the game. Oof. Which is a choice that the Stanley Parable kind of plays with. It's like, yeah, you can't really escape unless you actually walk away from the game. Which is sort of a meta layer of fiction on top of the game narrative. I don't know. Yeah. It's a good time. I'm having a good time. Despite what Sans says with his empty soulless eyes. Yep. This is gonna take a really long time. Oh yeah. I mean, because I have to kill like 20 enemies in this area, and I read that in the final two areas combined I have to kill 40 enemies. So if it gets really bad, Maybe we'll just fast forward through that. I don't know. I mean, it's becoming a podcast, so yeah. I'll, I'll. If you guys really want to hear us podcast for forever later in this playthrough, let us know, or we can skip through. People are like, yeah, hey, just get to the good stuff. Cause I, I understand the feeling. We'll just do this as is for the first session. Yeah, because this isn't batch. this isn't like crazy long. Oh no. Oh no no. Oh no. Oh no no no. I'm gonna. Check at the save point how I'm doing. Yep. Oh yeah. Doing good. Feeling real good. That's right, Chara, you crazy maniac. 
You know what? There is something interesting about the fact that, excuse me, that Char is moving around mm -hmm. on on their own during those cutscenes and stuff, because it kind of lets me distance myself a little bit more from the murder. Three left. Oh my god. Because it's like I'm still choosing to kill everyone, but the way people are reacting, it's like, oh, you're like walking weird and stuff. That's out of my control, kind of. It's a result of my actions, but I don't know. It means little, like during cutscenes, little scenes, demonic possession going on. I think. Yeah. Well, I, I'm soulless or something. I don't know. I stole a soul. I do have a soul because I have that little red heart. But I guess I stole a human soul. I have some kind of connection to Flowey's creation. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Do 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 ba do. Oh, I just want to listen to Bone Trout Soul forever. Spoopy would never do this. Spoopy is a precious heart. I'll never forget Spoopy as long as I live. Yep. Do do do. It's crazy how successful this game did. I know. Like, it's it's well deserved, but it's rare that a game as kind of experimental oh, yeah. and, and risky as this is rewarded. Because I could totally see this kind of game just being like a little cult favorite that sort of flies under the radar. But yeah. people went crazy over this, and they're still going crazy, which is awesome. It's really, really cool, because there's a lot to love about this. Yeah, I'm really, really curious to see what Toby does next. Yeah. I don't want an Undertale 2. Really? Yeah, I'm I'm generally not a big fan of sequels. What about a prequel? Even, Hear even me out. still. Okay. So, we know that there was a scientist before Alphys. Uh, we had Gaster. Well, yeah, he presumably he was hands. a scientist. Um... Which, I don't know if we've really talked about Gaster, because oh, okay. he doesn't really pop up in the game. He does, it's just... but there's a very specific yeah. uh, things you need to do. Um, it's basically a third skeleton, people think. It's like, I, I, he, he's wingdings. He's, he speaks in hands. If, actually, if you type Gaster, I think, as a name mm. in the character, when you're making the fallen human, the game resets and plays a bunch, a bunch of wingdings. Really? Yeah. Huh. So give that a try. So there's also if you if you name your character Frisk because that's the oh yeah I know about this it plays humans. hard mode yeah which oh, so it, that's the real character's name yeah yeah but it's it's not it's only the ruins and oh yeah that's it, right there's like a lot of jokes and stuff yeah it's we should like we should we should do a one off of that sometime yeah, we could um but it's not a full playthrough hmm. so yeah there's there's I'm sure there's plenty of secrets people haven't found yet because people were hacking into the game and doing all kinds of crazy shit to yeah. find more secrets. Well, I was trying to read some of that because I was curious, but I didn't want to spoil the genocide run, so yeah. I kind of kept my distance. A lot of this I've, I've never seen. I mean, I, 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 I know a little bit about certain fights, but not enough to... Same. I, I know. Yeah. I mean, there's some pieces about genocide that are kind of unavoidable if you live on the internet like we do. But I'm not going to say it because maybe there's people watching this who haven't done a genocide run, and this exactly. is their genocide run, and we're not spoiling it, and neither should you if you've played it. But you should have played before, it. But you should have played it. Well, I can understand someone doing a pacifist run than not wanting to do yeah, a genocide I guess run, because that's, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, that's fair. I'm I like, think this that's is tedious, I hate myself, everything sucks, I'm really hot and sweaty. This is a miserable experience. But, my determination is carrying me through. Determination. Determination. The Tabby Day! Oh my god, we're gonna have to kill Temmie. No. Uh, no, we can't. We have to. Oh, I don't wanna kill Temmie. She's really nice and talented. No. No! 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 She'll never no. go to college. No! Cool egg. Cool egg. Hoy. She was really smart. Uh, that means we can't get the Temmie armor either. Nope! Which means the whole fight at the end is gonna be hard. Yep. Do, 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 do. Where's the enemies? Da, 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 da. The enemies. <sighs> do, do, do. This is gonna take so long. Where'd you find that cat version of the dog song? Oh, a guy made it for me and Holly because we said it on uh, on Holly's playthrough. We're like, oh man, I wish there was a cat. Because every time like we we walk, we walk up to Orphan Mojo, we go meow 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 meow. We do that to our our cats, and Aww. they're just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But then someone made it. And Mario Paint, and it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, I forget the, the yeah, gentleman's made, name. Think, Something Gator. Uh, thank you for that, man. It was really cool. Um, yeah, like you were Holly made a vine of, I think, you dancing with Oh, Orf. that's right. To really that song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Orf was not happy. No, he was a little grumpy cat. 
he was but not the actual cat. grumpy no, cat. He which was, is a, a, he was a grump. intellectual. He was a grump cat. It's different. Grump cat. Different. Grump no why. No why. So I think that means there's one more to go. If that counts as two, which I think it did, I'll check. Want to go back and save? Yeah, let's see. If it's if it's if it's. I mean, we got time. Oh, oh. well. I guess if we. Yeah, no, we can. It counted as two. And now the sad, empty music plays. Good! Let's go back and save. And then continue on. Next time on Steam Train. Next time on Steam Train. Death and destruction. Mm. <laughs> Zap? Oh my gosh. Zap?